Hi everyone, this is Jana, and I have another card to share with you using supplies from the August 2014 card kit by Simon Says Stamp. Just like the first card that I shared using this kit, I'm also going to do a bit of heat embossing, some watercoloring, and some fussy cutting. This card, however, started as something completely different. I wanted to use this ice cream cone stamp from the Ice Dream Dream set uh, from the kit to create a fun Ferris wheel type background. I think it would have looked very cool, but as I was working on coloring my Ferris wheel, I didn't like the result, so I decided to use the individual ice cream cones instead. I heat embossed a few cones in white embossing powder and added color using squeezed lemonade and peacock feathers distress markers that came in the kit. I did some very, very basic watercoloring. I first added the two colors, alternating them. I then used a small water brush and blended them together, creating some nice blue, green, and yellow shades. I wasn't being very careful or specific about my coloring. I simply wanted to blend the colors all over the embossed images. I also spread some water onto my heat embossed and colored images so that the ink would spread out even further and create even a better color blending. Uh, I forgot to mention that I'm working on watercolor cardstick here. It's not the one that came in the kit, it's not the one from Ranger, as I have already used it for my first card. I'm using some regular watercolor cardstick for this card, but if you still have some of that left, feel free to use it, it's a great cardstick. So after spritzing my coloring with water, I came in with a paper towel and picked up some of the extra water that was left on the paper. I then came back with a water brush and a mix of peacock feathers and squeezed lemonade and colored in some of the areas of the ice cream. I did mix the colors on a clear block and picked a mixture from there using a water brush. I like using clear blocks when working with the stress markers as it gives me more control over how much color uh, I'm applying to my images. Because I didn't like how my Ferris wheel turned out, I simply cut out a few ice cream cones out of that paper and decided to use them separately. I still, however, want to show you, wanted to show you how I color them, so that's why you saw all of that coloring previously. I will probably give this Ferris wheel idea another try and will hopefully create another card uh, with this. After my coloring and cutting was done, I made a card base out of Simon Says Stamp 120 pound white cardstock and adhered this fantastic colorful pattern paper from the Lemonade Stand 6x6 pad from Bow Bunny covering the entire front of the card. This paper came uh, in the kit. I then made a rectangle out of some white cardstock and the rectangle is a quarter of an inch, a quarter and an inch smaller than my card base. And I stamped that ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream sentiment. Um, I'm telling you, I'm loving it. It's such a fun sentiment. Uh, so I stamped it using Memento Tuxedo Black ink uh, on my card. Now because I knew um, I was going to add an ice cream cone below and an ice cream above the sentiment, I didn't stamp it directly centered. I stamped it more towards the top of the card. I then used foam adhesive and adhered the ice cream pieces to my project to give it some dimension. I also wanted to highlight the handwritten part of that sentiment, so I decided to heat emboss it on a leftover piece of pattern paper that I used to cover the front of the card. I did do some creative masking for this. I masked all areas of the sentiment except for that handwritten part, pressed it onto the clear embossing ink pad, removed the mask, and stamped it onto the paper. I then added some white embossing powder and heat set it with my heat gun. I did have to trim it a bit to fit on top of the sentiment, so I used a craft knife. It's a fingertip craft knife from Fiskars and narrowed my paper. I did that on my cutting mat, which I usually have underneath the snow stick craft mat from Ranger. I then created a V-cut on both ends using my scissors and adhered it to the card using some foam adhesive. Finally, I heat embossed and colored a cherry to place on top of my ice cream. Uh, I cut it out, adhered it to the top of the ice cream, and added some glossy accents. I hope you enjoyed this video. All the supplies are listed in the video description and on my blog for your convenience. Please be sure to click the like button, drop me a comment, and share this video with your crafty friends. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Thank you.